Okay, this demo that I'm going to show you right now, this one is MB. It'll be entirely on MB. Uh, this one is running on the MB Theater, running on Windows 10. And I'm using my little uh, Vorky V2 uh, microcomputer. It is a uh, Windows 10 uh, Intel. So, but anyway, I'm using the server and the client both on the same box. So I just want to give you a demo of what it looks like. The good, the bad, and the ugly of it. So, here we go. Now, one thing it does, I'll start out with this one right here. Ovatar, that's what I usually base all my reviews on. Now, it is playing on my Denon AVR, on your video receiver. It's showing DTS-HD space MA, master audio. So it is high definition audio. So the video is outstanding and the audio is outstanding also. So I got HD audio and perfect video. So that's what I want to show you. And then here's all the eye candy. Well, the problem with this, I start watching this stuff and I end up getting uh, sidetracked. Uh, this gentleman right here, well, He's in a lot of different uh, movies that I've seen. Basic, Avatar, Saving Private Ryan, Ted, episodes, uh, X-Files. So anyway, you get to, uh, a lot of that. Because a lot of times I'm wondering, who are these characters? I know them, but I can't place them. So anyway, that's some of the uh, stuff there. Now we're going to go back to live TV. Oh, one thing, let me go back to the, the movies. Absent-minded professor. Okay, made in 1961. Okay. Now here's what I wanted to show you. Closed captioning. Energy tapes on When you get old like me, you have a hard time hearing. So now this was an older rip, DVD rip, so the uh, closed caption subtitles they really don't work very well. On this one because they're too big but anyway usually I just download uh, uh, external uh, subtitles but anyway uh, that's what I want to show you I get subtitles because they're um, uh, again English subtitles now the other thing I want to show you too now Auto direct. This is direct playing. So even my little forty-dollar Logic Box Linux Linux, it plays these uh, videos perfectly because there's no uh, 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 transcoding has to be done. So using this Windows 10 uh, eliminates the need for transcoding. So I can use a uh, low-powered device as my server. So. Anyway, that's what I want to show you. Now, here's the bad part about the live TV. Okay, here's the latest recordings. And this is what's on now. Upcoming programs. Upcoming movies. Well, this is pretty slick. And the movies, again, gives you the cast of characters. Cast and crew, I guess it is, which is pretty neat, and I can record it if I so desire. But uh, some, there's a lot more shows, uh, but it doesn't give me enough upcoming movies. Well, here's one. Now this one, I think I'm gonna record that because uh, it's got Lee Marvin in it. And I do like Lee Marvin. So Liberty Valance, 30 Dozen. Episodes, episodes, episodes. But anyway, okay, let's go back to the live TV now. Andy 500. Now, since my hearing is not that great, 
I would like to have closed captioning, but there's no button. I can't. The uh, closed captioning is embedded in the stream because my other uh, programs uh, does pull out the, uh, the closed caption so I can display it on the TV. But here I cannot get closed captioning, so that is the ugly part of this. So I'm sure they're working on it. Adobe Digital, yes, I got Adobe Digital on my AVR. The picture is absolutely perfect, and I got Adobe Digital Audio. So the only thing is lacking is, and it's, again, it's direct, direct play, so there's no transcoding on the server end. So I can use my other little $40 boxes as a, as a back end, and it still works perfectly. So uh, they're coming along very, very well. It is almost perfect. And these are all my recorded shows that I've got. And it takes a couple minutes to populate all of them because they're, they're running off the uh, media stored on my NAS, temporary storage devices, quite, quite old, so that's probably why I'm slow loading that. But anyway, um, they've made some very good progress. And the only thing lacking to be 100% perfect is the closed captioning on the live TV. And again, uh, now here's some of my servers that I've got. These are all low-powered, uh, low-cost devices that works great as a back-end server, so you don't have to spend a lot of money. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. But again, everything looks good except for the fact that it does not have, I cannot get, I cannot get closed captioning on it. And I'm sure that one of these days they will because the stream, the closed caption is bedded in the stream that's coming over here and I'm using it down on the roof. So the, the uh, closed captioning is there, they just have to grab it and display it on the TV screen. So. All right, thank you much.